it's all about calming our inner world, giving ourselves some loving, and enjoying our life a lot more. Letting go of the past and moving on into a better future. Hi guys, this is Matthew Tate from Fork in the Road YouTube channel, your channel for transformation. Today I've got a very special uh, guest who's come onto the show and we recorded this about, oh, I think it was nearly a year ago in June of 2020. And it was a healing session with my very good friend, Alia Rogers. So I hope you enjoy this. She came onto the show, we did an interview together, which is somewhere in the channel. Go and have a look and I'll link it to this one. And she ran the session and did a beautiful job. I'll see you on the other side, enjoy. So the best way for me to try and explain it is to give you an example. So think of a small child and a little boy who's three years old, he's been naughty. He's been told off by a parent. They're like, oh my God, you naughty boy, go to your room. You've been so silly, how dare you do that? The boy has been told off. He might be feeling emotions of guilt because he's done something naughty. He might be feeling sad because he's been told off. He might feel ashamed. So he's got all these emotions that he's feeling right now and he might start to cry. And the parent might say, don't be so silly, stop crying, go to your room. So in what's happened there, and this is a very common scenario and, and we have lots of similar scenarios that we come across. And what's happened is the boys had some emotions and they've been shut down because he's been told to be quiet and, and, and don't be so silly. And that can happen an awful lot. We tell our children and, you know, I'm guilty of it. I've done it before. It's like, be quiet, stop crying. Why are you crying? So we taught and we conditioned from a young age to not express our feelings. When we don't express our feelings, we hold on to them. This little naughty boy hasn't processed his emotions and he's been told to be quiet. He's held on to that emotion. He hasn't dealt with it. He hasn't processed it. Okay, and what can then happen with that emotion? It can also be tied in and linked in with self limiting beliefs, and that's where we come into some problems because the self limiting belief that the, that little boy could have in that situation is, I'm not good enough, or, um, you know, I'm just not worthy, or my parents don't love me or certain responses like that. And he might make that in his three-year-old mind, it might make perfect sense to him, my parents don't love me or I'm not good enough. But unfortunately what can happen then is he'll continue on with his life, he'll grow up and that, that self-limiting belief in his mind becomes reinforced by a certain series of events, it can become reinforced. And the more it gets reinforced, the more it plays a part in his life. And that feeling of I'm not good enough can then play out as an adult where he doesn't ask the hot girl out or he doesn't go for the top job because he doesn't think he's good enough. So what we're going to do today is to tap into some of your self-limiting beliefs. Now, we're all here on the basis um, we um, promoted this as a depression and anxiety session, but it will benefit anybody. The most common limiting belief is I'm not good enough, which is why I use that example. Now that for you might have come from anywhere in your past. It could have been a week ago, it could have been when you were one, it doesn't matter. But if you're carrying that belief, that can be definitely something that is holding you back and holding you back from moving forward in your life. So what we're going to do, we're going to use that as a self-limiting belief today. If that doesn't resonate for you, that's absolutely fine. I'm also going to give you a few other statements and I want you, and don't worry about how you're going to do it, I will talk you through it, but you will find out which self-limiting belief resonates for you the most and that is the self-limiting belief that you will work on today. So let's get started. I don't want to waste any more time. Um, so 
find a comfortable position. I want you to close your eyes. Now, some of you have got your cameras on and that's great. If I can see you, it means I can connect with you a little bit better and I can see where you're at. If you're not comfortable with your um, camera on, that's absolutely fine, it doesn't matter. But just be reassured that no one's looking at you because everyone's got their eyes closed, right? And for part of the time, I will have my eyes closed as well because I'll be concentrating. So up to you if you want your camera on or off. Get yourself comfortable and I'd like you to close your eyes. Okay. Wonderful. So take a big deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. You will hear me breathing through this and it's just a reminder for you to keep breathing as well. So in through your nose, out through your mouth. And I want you to relax into your body. And what I mean by that is become aware of your body. So in through your nose, out through your mouth. Just relax right down. I want you to relax the muscles in your face and relax the muscles in your jaw. Relax the muscles in your neck and shoulders and relax the muscles all over your body. And just feel the weight of your body pressing into whatever it is you're laying or sitting on. And I want you to become aware of your body and how it feels. Now, when I say this next statement, I want you to either say it out loud, don't worry because you're on mute, so you can say it out loud or say it in your head and see if you can feel it resonate somewhere within your body. So I want you to say out loud, I am not enough, or I am not good enough, and see if that resonates. And if you have got your camera on, you can just put your hand up and sit, and just to let me know if that's a yes, if that resonates with you. Okay. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. I want you to say to yourself, I am sad, and see if that resonates. If it resonates for you, just pop your hand up and just show me. Okay. And also, if it resonates, I want you to, to rate it for yourself and just, just to be aware of it and, and look at it and just see how, how much out of 10 is that. So if it's a 10 out of 10, that means you're as sad as you could possibly be. And if it's a one, it's not so much. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. I want you to say to yourself, I'm not worthy. And see if that resonates. Just pop your hand up if that resonates. Okay. In through your nose and out through your mouth, I am scared. Anybody? I am ashamed. Just repeat that to yourself and see if there's anything I'm ashamed of. Okay, so out of those statements, I think you've probably all got one. And if you haven't, I want you to go with I am not enough or I am not good enough because I have not met a single client who doesn't have an element of that. So if you're really not sure, just go with I am not enough. Now through the rest of this healing, I'm going to be saying those words, I'm not enough, but I want you, whenever I say that, I want you to say to yourself, whichever one that you've picked. So whichever one you've picked, you've gauged it out of 10, and I want you to become aware of it. Some of you might even feel it in your body, become aware of where it's sitting. If you've got pain, you might feel it in your heart or your stomach or your head or anywhere in your body. So I want you to breathe into it and repeat to yourself, whichever your statement is, I am not enough. And I want you to really feel it. So if it was a five out of 10, I want you to breathe into it as though it's a balloon. Breathe into it and make it bigger. Now, I know this sounds bizarre because we don't want to feel bad feelings, but by making it bigger, we're going to really feel it and allow our body to process it. 
and once we process it, it will be gone. So breathe into that feeling, I am not enough. Make it bigger. And become aware of where it is in your body. Become aware of how big it is. It might even have a colour. It might have a texture. Become aware of all these things. See it as though it's an actual thing. And I want you to breathe into that feeling and allow yourself to feel that feeling. This is a safe environment. It's absolutely fine for you to feel all those feelings. And if you're feeling a bit sad and if you've got some tears, that's absolutely fine because that's exactly what was meant to happen. So breathe into it and let yourself feel all the feelings that come with that statement of yours. Breathe into it. Blow it bigger and bigger, just like a balloon. I am not enough. So you can repeat your statement to yourself over and over just so you can really allow yourself to feel it. Breathe in and breathe out. Raise your hand if, you're, if that feeling feels like it's getting bigger. That's really good. I want you to make it bigger. And if you don't feel like it's getting bigger, just know it is getting bigger. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in through your nose and make it bigger. Once you get it up to a 10, I want you to hold on to that feeling for as long as you can. And this might, you might actually feel some physical pain. You might actually feel some pain in your chest. You might actually feel some pain in your head. And that's absolutely fine. And that all that means is that you are processing this emotion that you have held on to for a long time. So breathe into it. I am not enough or I am sad, and just really feel it. And if you're feeling sad, that is absolutely fine. That's in fact a very good thing because it means you're processing. So breathe in and breathe out. You're doing a really good job, those people I can see you breathe in. And breathe out. And I just want you to notice if you've pinpointed where that pain is, where that feeling, where that emotion is in your body, just notice it. Notice has it moved? Has it changed colour? Has it changed number out of 10? Just be observant of it and notice it. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Be aware of what colour it is. Be aware of where it is. And repeat to yourself your statement. I am not enough. I am sad. I am not worthy. Whatever it is that resonates with you, be brave and allow yourself to feel every part of that emotion when you allow yourself to feel every part of that emotion you will then release that emotion and you'll be free of that emotion so be brave and breathe into it and make it bigger and hold it In through your nose and out through your mouth. As you're breathing into that emotion, you are giving it life. Let it live because once it's lived, it will come and it will go. I promise you that. Breathe into it. And let it go. Breathe into it. 
Just show me your hands if you can feel it dissipating at all. Okay. Just raise your hand if it has decreased. If it hasn't decreased yet, that's absolutely fine. You just keep breathing into it. And breathe it out through your mouth. And just follow where it is in your body. I am not enough. I am sad. I'm ashamed. Let yourself feel the emotions that come with it. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. And it's perfectly normal. You might feel hot while you're doing this. You might feel cold while you're doing this while your emotions are processing your body can do lots of different things and that's absolutely fine it's just because you've been holding on to that emotion for a long period of time raise your hands if your number is now below or five keep your hand up if it's below a four Okay. Keep breathing into it. And let it go. And breathe into it. And let it go. Observe where it is in your body now. And I just want you to say your statement again to yourself. Say it out loud. It has more emphasis if you say it out loud. And it's okay to say it out loud because you're on the beat. Breathe in and breathe out. You're doing a really, really good job. Just know that you're doing a fantastic job. And now when I ask you this next question, I don't want you to let your mind get in the way. I want you to just think of the first answer that comes to your head because the first answer will be the right answer. I want you to ask your mind, I'm asking your mind, how old were you when you first felt this emotion? And that answer should come to you. Just go with the first answer that comes to you. Some of you might feel like, oh, I'm making this up. You're not. It's the first answer that comes to you is the right answer. How old was I? How old were you when you first got this emotion? Raise your hands if you have a number. Okay. So just go with your gut feeling. And what I want you to do now is just imagine from whatever age you are now, imagine a timeline all the way back to that age. And I want you to imagine you're going back along that timeline. You're going back and back and back and back. You're getting younger. And you're going all the way back, all the way back to that age that you first felt this feeling. Now that age might be so young, you might be thinking, you might be questioning, how can I possibly remember something that happened when I was one or two? It's okay. It's fine. Allow yourself to go there. So when you reach, when you reach that age on your timeline where you first ever felt this emotion, I want you to feel like you're just dropping in to that younger version of you. You're dropping into that body of the younger version of you. And I want you, if you feel like you don't know where I'm going with this, it's absolutely fine. Just play along. Play along because your mind, your brilliant mind knows exactly where to go. 
your questioning logical rational mind might be questioning it and that's fine but just go with whatever your mind is telling you so i want you to drop into that younger version of you as though you're in that body right now and i want you to look down and look at your feet just be observant just notice what's on your feet just notice what's happening around you and notice who is around you if you're on your own what the situation is and if you're around people what is happening and what those people are saying and doing and you will know you will know why you've had this self-limiting belief you will know where this has stemmed from and i want you to look at that younger version of yourself and i want you as the adult you are now to talk to that younger version of yourself and tell that younger version of yourself exactly what that person needs to hear right now you tell that person you say i love you i love you very much and it's okay everything's going to be all right no one can love you as much as i love you and i have got you and you wrap your arms around that small child or that younger person that younger version of you and you tell them that it's okay it's absolutely okay because you've got them they are safe and they are loved I'm going to give you a minute to tell that person everything that they need to hear. And talk to them as though you are their parent. You are the person that loves them the most on this planet. And tell them everything they need to hear. And now I want you to listen to that younger person, that younger version of you, and hear what they have to tell you. now I want you to imagine that your heart is full of love for that younger person, that younger version of you. Imagine it like a pink light if you want, a big pink light that's resonating, vibrating and, and, and glowing from your heart and it is surrounding that younger version of you, almost like in a pink bubble and that pink bubble of your love is protecting them and keeping them safe and making sure that they know that they are loved every minute of every day and that they are okay. And I want you to ask that younger version of you if they are happy to stay where they are now or if they want to come with you. If they are happy to stay where they want where they are now, I want you to just give them a big hug, tell them you love them, and say your good boys. And if they want to come with you, I want you to wrap your arms around that person so tight and say it's okay, you're coming with me. And I want you to slowly come back to the age that you are now, back into your body back into the here and now. And I want you to imagine a beautiful white light coming down 
from the furthest point, the highest point in the universe you can possibly imagine, coming down through the top of your head and down through your shoulders, down your arms and through the trunk of your body and through the rest of your body and down your legs and out of your feet. And with that white light, it is taking every last ounce of your pain, of your sadness, away with it. Your shame, your sorrow is all being flushed and washed away with it. I want you to breathe in through your mouth and out through your mouth. And just let that sit for a moment. And whenever you are ready, you can open your eyes and fill up your lungs and have a stretch. If you have a drink, have a drink. There's no rush. Now, if you've still got your eyes closed, that's absolutely fine. Well done. I can see that a lot of you have had a lot of shifts and that's fantastic. Well done. And give yourself a huge hug and a, and a big pat on the back for having done a fantastic job right now. Now, some of you are going to feel very emotional right now and that's expected and it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing because you've been holding on to a lot of emotion for a long time and you've just been very brave and you've just let all that emotion out. Now this is a short session. If, if we were having a one-on-one -on -one healing session, we would go on for a bit longer and we would allow you time to process all those emotions. You're not gonna have that time on this forum. So what I want each and every one of you to do when, you, when we finish this session is I want you to allow yourself at least half an hour to actually just sit with yourself and let those feelings just dissipate because it does take some time and it's not always easy on a format like this on a forum like this where you can see other people's faces and you're a bit sort of self-conscious of crying and letting it all out 100 percent. it's hard and, and i know that I'm, I'm the same so i would urge each of you to go away and if you feel like really letting go and really crying and really just letting it out go and do that because it's very very important for your whole being to allow that to now happen um matt are there any questions that have come through if anyone's got any questions or not sure about something we have still got a few minutes to just take some questions if uh, there's no questions at the moment, no, no questions. If anyone okay. has any, you can type them into the uh, the chat to the group or to me privately is fine if anyone has any questions. So some of, okay, thank you. Some of you might, I mean, I'm absolutely frozen right now and this whole healing process affects people in different ways. You might be frozen cold, you might be boiling hot, you might need to run to the toilet, you might want to burp, you might want to knees there's lots of ways that we actually release our emotions as well as crying crying is one of the best things you can do and when we have locked up emotions like i said earlier we're conditioned to keep those emotions down we we don't throw ourselves on the ground and start crying because we've been conditioned I'm not advocating that you do that but you know we've been conditioned from an early age not to do things like that so we bottle things up and we don't cry and we don't show our emotions. So what I'll urge you to do from this day on is to really be aware of anything that comes up for you. If you've had a bad day at work or something, someone said something horrible, be aware that that might have affected you. So when you're at home and you're in, in the safe place and you might want to hide under the, the covers of your bed, it, that's fine. But have a good cry. Let those feelings come out. Let yourself process those emotions because it's so important. 
So, Matt, do you have anything that you want to add at all? I've got a couple of uh, nice comments here. Uh, Wendy said, well done, uh, uh, Alia. That was beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. And, uh, and Claire said, Did beautiful. Any big releases? Is anyone, just a show of hands, if anyone felt they had a big release? Excellent. That's really good. That's really good. And the thing is, you'll still be processing. So you can think to yourself now, whatever your statement was, I'm not enough or I am sad. Think it to yourself now, or you can say it out loud to yourself now and just think, just observe it and just think, well, I was a seven out of 10. What am I now? Just have a, have a think about what's happened to your number and put your hand up if you've had a reduction in your number. We also have um, messages yeah. coming through. Claire said, beautiful. She felt all of that. Great timing. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh. Uh, and Martin. <laughs> Martin said, uh, thanks, it was beautiful. He went back to birth. So there you go. Oh, wow. Taking him on a bit of a ride. <laughs> Fantastic. And um, did anyone have any difficulty that, uh, or, well, I'll tell you what, you might not want to share on this format and that's absolutely fine. What, um, oh, Pamela, you went back to birth as well. Fantastic, that's, that's amazing. Um, you will get an email shortly after this and we will send you links I and mean, you've had emails already reminders from us but you'll get another email with a short survey on it but which will just give us some information as to how you got on but also on that email there's my contact and there's matt's contact so if you have any questions that you don't want to ask in this form forum that's absolutely fine feel free to contact either of us and we can answer your questions. Or if you're still feeling a bit sort of really emotional and you want to talk about that or whatever you want to do, reach out to one of us and we can talk to you. Awesome. Right, so Matt, I think we are probably, in the interest of time, might need to wrap up a little bit. Wrap up very soon, yes. It'll uh, boot us off yeah. the system very soon. I don't soon. want to suddenly lose everyone. Yeah, I'll lose you uh, all and a half. Goodbye. So if anyone has any questions, we'll shoot you an email, a little um, uh, survey afterwards, and uh, you can reach out to us with uh, emails. Contact details will be on the emails. Um, there's Ali has got the Dragonfly Life Solutions on her page, and I've got the Fork in the Road uh, coaching uh, page. So we can help you out uh, however you need to be. It's really important that you just sit for a little bit and really just mm -hmm. feel into it and don't go out and uh, operate any heavy machinery or anything silly <laughs> in the next little bit. Just uh, stay nice and, and comfortable, drink plenty of water, lots of breathing and just let it release and you'll find it uh, tingle, tingles out of the body in different places it comes out in, for everyone a little bit differently and um yeah it really is an amazing uh modality method and it was the reason i kept coming back i was wondering why i would, was coming back and then each time i'd have some massive shift and oh there's more in there you know it's so uh it's uh, such an amazing um, method. And so I really uh, appreciate you all coming along tonight. Uh, it really is uh, great for us to sort of be able to deliver in this method. And thank you so much, Alia Rogers, for an incredible session. Um, I'll be, I wasn't able to enjoy it as much as everyone because I had to make sure everyone was muted, but uh, well done, Alia. And uh, I'll uh, be, I'll enjoy the recording a little bit later and I'll uh, have my own little session. <laughs> take my own advice well, well thank you so much for having me matt i've uh, it's been my absolute pleasure to do this on this format and to be able to offer this for free for many people who have asked over the last few months saying you know oh you know i'm not sure about it or just wanted a little bit more of an insight about what self-directed healing is so i think it's hopefully sort of answered a few questions for a few people Obviously, if anyone wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one session, they can contact us, but it obviously will be in a lot more depth than what we've done today because I've given you some specific self-limiting beliefs, whereas on a one-on-one, -on -one, we would explore in a lot more detail what exactly is going on for you individually. Absolutely. But thank you. Thank you very much. And it's lovely to see all your faces. And thank you for being brave and having your cameras on. Absolutely. So I'm clapping you. <laughs> <laughs> well done, guys. Thank you for having your cameras on. It really helps Alia 
uh, run the session and understand where you're all at. And uh, so I'll wrap it up from there. It's goodbye from me, Matthew Tate, and thank you, Alia Rogers. And I hope you all uh, have a nice evening. Lots of breathing, lots of water, and stay nice and calm for about half an hour. <laughs> See you guys next time. Thanks. Bye, everyone. Bye. -bye. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> There you have it. I hope you enjoyed that session with Alia Rogers. I love showing new talent. I love showing new methods and I love anything that can help people shift and move forward. I hope you now rest and just absorb that beautiful little session. Go and have a glass of water, go and have a lie down for a bit and just let that all integrate into your system whatever decisions you made in that session about how things were actually different whatever visions came up for you just imagine and remember the positive lessons that you took out of it and those lessons are the ones that will allow you to let it go the things we hold on to to keep us safe are actually the things holding us back from opening up I hope you enjoyed that beautiful session from Alia Rogers. Watch it again and again, and you'll get more and more out of it, as everyone does. This is Matthew Tate from Fork in the Road, your channel for transformation. Like and subscribe so you can get more of these videos on a regular basis. This is Matt Tate. I'll see you guys in the next video.